In this video, we're going to talk about how to divide two mixed numbers. So let's begin. I'm going to start with the second example. When dividing mixed numbers, the first thing you want to do is convert them to improper fractions. So first, let's rewrite the denominator, 8. Next, we're going to multiply the whole number by the denominator and then add the numerator. 9 times 8 is 72 plus 5, that's 77. Let's do the same for the second fraction. Let's rewrite the denominator. And then 2 times 4 is 8 plus 3, that is 11. So now we're dividing two fractions. To convert this division problem to a multiplication problem, you want to use the expression keep change flip. That is, keep the first fraction the same, change division to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. So now before we multiply across, we want to see if there's anything we could cancel. 77 is 7 times 11. 8 is 4 times 2. 4, we can write that as 4 times 1. And 11, I'm going to write that as 11 times 1. So notice that we could cancel an 11 and we could cancel a 4. So now we can multiply across. We have 7 times 1, which is 7. 2 times 1 is 2. Now, 7 over 2, we want to write that as a mixed number. What is the highest multiple of 2 under 7? That's going to be 6. So I'm going to break up 7 over 2 into 6 over 2 plus 1 over 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and so we have 3 plus a half. When you have a whole number plus a fraction, you can write it as a mixed number. So that's 3 and 1 halves. That is the answer. So that's how you could divide two mixed numbers together. You want to convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions, change the division problem to a multiplication problem using keep, change, flip, cancel any common factors if possible, and then if you have the answer as an improper fraction, convert it back to a mixed number. Now, let's go back to the first example. Let's convert each mixed number into an improper fraction. If you want to try this problem, feel free to pause the video. So we're going to rewrite the denominator, 5. Next, we have 8 times 5, which is 40, plus 3. That's 43. For the second mixed number, we're going to rewrite the denominator, 4. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1, that's 9. So we have 43 over 5 divided by 9 over 4. Now, let's change the division problem to a multiplication problem using keep, change, flip. So let's keep the first fraction the same, change division to multiplication, and then let's flip the second fraction. 43 and 9 doesn't have any common factors. So there's nothing we could simplify or cancel. So we have to multiply across. 43 times 4. 40 times 4 is 160 because 4 times 4 is 16. So when you add the 0, that's 160. 3 times 4 is 12. 160 plus 12 is 172. 5 times 9 is 45. So we have this. Now, how many times does 45 go into 172? Or what's the highest multiple of 45 under 172? That is going to be 135. One seventy two minus one thirty five is thirty seven, so that's the remainder. Forty five goes into one seventy two three times. One thirty five divided by forty five is three. So we get three plus thirty seven over forty five, and we can write that as three thirty seven over forty five. That's gonna be the answer for this problem. It's a lot harder than the second one, as you can see.